Good morning and welcome to the Author Spotlight. My name is Aurelia Wynn. I'm the owner and operator of Wynn Publications. Um, can you introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about who you are and uh, maybe what you do full time. Okay, well, hi, I'm Nikki Mays. I am a self-published romance author. Um, I currently have eight books published. My ninth will be on pre-order next month, and I'm currently writing my 10th and 11th book at the current moment. Wow. Um, yeah. Wait, 10th and 11th at the same time? Yeah, I'm actually writing my 10th book, which will finish up my second series, uh -huh. and my 11th book I'm writing with another author. We decided to uh -huh. do more of a dark romance. Oh, nice. That has to be fun. What's it like How, What's it like writing with a co-author? I, I haven't spoken to anybody yet that has talked about uh, that part. It's, it's really interesting, actually. Um, it's a lot of fun to bounce ideas off of each other. And mm. We're both moms, so we both are up early, late at, you know, up late at night, and we just randomly, you know, talk about different ideas and how dark we want to go with it. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's a fun process. It's definitely something to break up just the monotony of, you know, just writing your own books and continuously just being by yourself. It's a mm. nice little treat. Oh, wow, that is nice. I have I have yet tried a book with someone, so that's going to be on my bucket list, is to be a co-author with somebody. Um, so that's great. Okay. So, um, where are you from? I am from New Jersey. Okay. I grew up here, got married, and settled in a small town right by uh, Princeton University. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so what's the weather like over there? Is it beautiful right now or it's, is it really cold? It's actually not too bad today. We're supposed to hit like 50, so oh. that's extremely warm for February in New Jersey. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm always so like way for us. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. See, I'm in California, and anytime Californians will tell you, anytime it gets below like 70, we are like losing our minds. Like we don't know what. It's like freezing cold. So wow, that's oh awesome. my God. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Okay. So then, tell us more about your your latest book. Um, what's it about? Uh, what you said it's a romance. Yeah, so this is my um, second series. So I just published the, the first one, and this one is a trilogy. Okay. So the first one was Nailed by You, um, and it follows two characters, that one that I had previously introduced in my other series, and it just follows them along on their somewhat crazy road to, you know, going from friends to lovers. Okay. And each book in this trilogy is about one of the brothers. There's three brothers. So the first one was Mason, and this next one that will be going out on pre-order next month will be about Ben. Oh, wow. Nice. Well, you know, I'm so silly. So I didn't realize this is your second time on the author spotlight, isn't it? Or no? I don't think so. No. Really? Okay. Someone else has your name, Nikki. Hmm. I'm gonna have to There's do some research. There's a lot of us. <laughs> okay. Because I was like, I think I talked to her before. <laughs> okay. Maybe not. My bad. All right. So then. What was what has been your toughest challenge um, that you face in becoming an author? I would say it's the marketing aspect, like promoting mm. your book is just so difficult. Yeah, it's yeah, it's so hard to get seen as an indie author, especially if you don't want to spend tens of thousands of dollars on promoting and marketing. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, I agree. You know, I um, since I'm a publisher, I'm always looking at ways to help uh, the authors that I work with market. And one of the things that I found is, well, do you have a website? I do. Okay, so if 
there's this thing from Google Ads um, called, I think it's called recurring ads. You know how when you like go on somebody's website and then next thing you know you have an ad from that store like on your Facebook, on your Instagram, on your YouTube and you're like, what the heck? Like this, these people are following me. Well, I figured out how to do that. So I'm working on, I'm like going to test it out and see how that works because I think they really get a lot of people like that by kind of following them on their different social media platforms. I don't know. Have you heard about that? I haven't, but now okay. I want to try it. <laughs> yeah, so I'll let you know. I'll let you know how it goes for me so then I can be like, okay, this is what you do. I, and so, yeah. All right. Cool. So, so it's then, just reoccurring ads? Like, do you just go yeah. Google? Yeah, through Google Ads. I think it's Google AdWords, and it might be called Recurring Ads. And, like, you just create them in the different dimensions. I see, I think they say, like, pick your top five dimensions and, uh, you know, create the image, create the video, upload it. Um, and it could be, like, two, three dollars a day. And, yeah, it, the ad will follow people to the difference. If they hit your website first, the ad will follow, um, follow people using um what is it cookies and so yeah 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 okay definitely gonna have to give that check a it <laughs> out check it out and definitely if you're a self-published author and you're checking out this episode check it out too and then please let me know how it goes i'm so excited to try it like i'm just i just have to create these ads real quick and then I'm, i might try it today since we're talking about it and let you know how it goes. Yeah. yeah. I'll probably go down a wormhole of creating. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, so then, um, have you ever encountered any moments that made you feel like you wanted to quit? And then, if so, how did you handle it? Um, you know, I would probably say it was after I published, like, my first book. And I was writing the second when you when you hit publish, you expect you know something to happen. You expect a few people. I mean, there's millions, there's billions of people in the world. Like you expect people to buy your book, mm -hmm. and it just didn't happen. Mm -hmm. And it's so discouraging when you put so much of yourself into something and you're expecting something. Mm -hmm. And if I got maybe. 30 books sold that month. It was a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and it's heartbreaking. Yeah. So, and I was writing the second, I'm like, should I even bother? Should I even continue doing this? What's the point? Like, mm -hmm. I don't have the money to spend on marketing. And my husband was like, just do it. You have fun. You know, you, mm -hmm. you stay at home. You wanted something to do. So just do this. And <laughs> I stuck with it. <laughs> that's good that's good to have that support and have someone pushing you uh to yeah. keep it up because you never know so what are the top three things that keep you going um well one you know it would be my family and their encouragement and support mm -hmm. uh the second would be just that I like having the outlet. I like being able to create these characters and just have it all come to life. And third would definitely be the readers. Mm. Some of my readers are just the sweetest. I've gotten so many sweet messages about, you know, some of my books and how much they love them and mm. how realistic they think all the banter is. And it's just, it's something that makes you feel so good, especially on days when you're like, uh, why do I bother with this? Why am I going to drive myself crazy doing this? And then you get a message from a reader, and it's just like, hey, I just want to let you know I love the book. And you're like, there we go. Yeah, yeah. You're like, okay, somebody is reading this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good. You know, someone told me, you know, it's hard to make the first sale. If you can make one sale, look at what you did to get that sale and then do it ten times or whatever. Ten times that. So, that's great. That's awesome. Um, well, darn, we have had such a great time talking. Is there anything else that you would want to share or offer to the community? Just 
to find other authors to connect with and be supportive of, that's honestly been a huge thing. We, mm-hmm. I actually just started um, this new hashtag called Selfless Indie Saturday, mm-hmm. where other indie authors find other authors and, you know, promote their books for them, and it's just a supportive movement to just embrace everyone else instead of so much negativity, just the positives mm-hmm. on bringing the community together, so... You know, find your tribe with other authors, and everything should, you know, go smoothly after that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so what's that? Tell us the hashtag again so we could follow it. Selfless Indie Saturday. Selfless Indie Saturday. All right, we'll check you out. So where can we find you, like, on social media? What's your links? Um, you know what, I'm... I'm on everything, but the only thing that I'm really majorly on would be Instagram. Okay. That's the only thing that I'm, like, <laughs> Yeah. And it's just Nikki Mays author is my username, and you can find me there. Okay. Nice. I'll be sure or, to include it. Go ahead. Or on my website. 